this is the reason why so many women need healing. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. I am continuing this week of putting up content. We're nearing the end of the year and I have so many videos that I want to send out to you guys. I know you guys, hopefully you guys saw my post on my community page where I talked about be ready because you're gonna be getting videos probably every day or every other day for probably a couple weeks because I have so many videos that I have not posted. And yeah, I wanna get those up. Some of them I decided not to put up because of the change on my page. But while I was taking my little break, I was recording because whenever I had a, a good thought about something or epiphany or I saw something very profound, I was recording. That's just a part of me, that's who I am. So uh, a lot of those, I kind of sifted through some of them you will get and some of them you will not so if you see videos that seem out of sequence seem like it's older it probably is it's probably because I saw that video and I said man I'm, I should put that up so I feel like as long as I'm giving you content that's relevant that can encourage you in some way it doesn't matter if it's out of sequence I know people who post videos that are years old <laughs> because it was a good video and they never posted it so yeah if that happens y'all understand I just got a lot of stuff I need to get out and because we're gonna be starting 2024 um, you know with some new thoughts we're focusing the rest of this year of healing on living life by design because this channel is all about designing your life and now through the end of the year we're really focusing and honing on healing and this is one of the reasons why we need to heal so guys uh, I I was on a live with a few ladies uh, last week and one of the things that a lot of content creators do, they get together and they do lives together and uh, we just kind of bounce ideas off of each other, how we can help grow our channels, how we can reach broader audiences. And one of the things that I thought about it was because these ladies do shorts all the time and I decided to do a short. I don't do shorts. I've done some in the past, but I'm just not you know, in, in, do the shorts because my messages usually take longer than a minute. And I think that's as long as a short can go. I think maybe 90 seconds. I think it's 60 seconds. So I decided to do a short. A lot of things that you guys don't know about people, if you're a content creator, you know. But if you're not, you may not know. You may see 20% of that person's life, maybe less than that. I'm just kind of gauging it on a scale of 100 you may see 20% of that person's life, their personality. So behind the scenes, I'm a very uh, artistic person. I love to dance, I love to sing. I am comedic at times. Uh, my friends think I'm funny. Uh, I'm more than just that person who gives inspiration. I like to laugh, I like to make people smile. Uh, I'm often told that at my company, you're always smiling, because that's just a part of who I am. And dancing has always been a big part of my life. I was in dance companies as a young girl. I was on a dance squad in high school. So dancing will always be a part of me until I can't dance anymore. If these legs stop working or I get to the point where I can't get up, dancing will always be a part of me. So I put a short up with me dancing saying Friday night vibes because oftentimes on Friday nights, I kind of turn my home into my own little nightclub. I'll put on my favorite Afro beats and you know, I might get me something good to eat, something good to drink, and I'll dance. Um, so I recently did a short with me dancing, saying Friday Night Vibes. And it's amazing to me that uh, the kind of reactions you'll get to things like that. Because people used to seeing me always low-key, kind of uh, just inspiring. Uh, you might get a little smile of comedy out of me on my videos, but rarely a lot of dancing. But if you've been following me for a long time, you already know this. So, got some, I won't call it hate cunt comments, but actually got some comments where I think it kind of annoyed um, women to the point where one woman told me she was not going to follow me because of that content. I thought you were this type of person. Nothing in that video was um, doing anything degrading. I wasn't 
showing my body. I wasn't doing anything other than dancing. It even wasn't a sexual dance. I wasn't dancing, well, I say seductively. It wasn't even that. It's just me dancing to the Afro beats. Um, Chris Brown's new song with Davido, uh, Davido, I don't know how you pronounce that African's name, but whatever it is. Love that song. It's one of my top 10 songs right now for a workout. It is the bomb. Gonna always dance to that song. So, yeah, I posted that on my channel, and I got somebody that was not happy with that. That is not a problem of mine. That is a problem of that person. See, ladies, a lot of times you'll get hate from other women. See, the point of this whole platform is to build sisterhood where we can embrace our differences, where we can celebrate each other. And actually, sometimes you'll meet people where who their personality might be a little bit different from yours and you can connect to that person and you can get some ideas and maybe learn a little bit where you can come out of that shell or that uh, place where you're a little bit more reserved and be able to express yourself. A lot of people are hiding behind walls and they want to just shout. They want to pull back the curtain and be themselves, but they're afraid of judgment. You hear me? They are afraid of judgment of people saying, oh, you're not acting your age. Or they're afraid of someone saying, oh, that's just disgraceful. But in healing, part of this channel, main focus is healing. It is about being able to express yourself and designing your life, doing the things that you enjoy, living your life on purpose, out loud, if that's what it is. There are women who do a whole lot more than I, that I would never dream of doing. And that's her life. That is her life. And so I thought it was important to come on and share this because if the way someone expresses themselves artistically or whatever it may be, the way that they, you know, carry themselves, if that's something that irritates you so much to the point that you feel that you have to separate from them. And this is not because of anything negative. Now, if you are a very, 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 very conservative person and you just want someone that's very, very conservative, then you attach to the wrong channel because I don't consider myself to be very conservative. Uh, I think I'm very ladylike. I think I am very respectful and regal and um that's what i promote and what i show but if dancing will be something that moves you in a way that it makes you uncomfortable it's probably not the channel for you because that's one of the things that i love to do is dance and i always will use that as an expression of my feeling at the moment if i'm feeling really really good or really happy i'm gonna dance if i want to celebrate an accomplishment I'm going to dance. I'm going to sing. That's just a part of me. That's who I am. And women, we have to be more mindful of what that's doing to us. If it's irritating you to the point where you just get upset, that's a problem on the inside. That's something on, going on with you because maybe you're not able to express yourself in the way that you want to. And you're hiding behind judgment. You're hiding because you're afraid of what people may say. And that is a very sad way to live because you can't truly be who you are 100%. And on designing your life, living your life by design, you're, you should be free to express yourself and be able to say the things that you want to say and do the things that you want to do, especially at this ripe old age. When you get 55, 60 years old like me and you cannot be able to dance or sing or dress or eat, or go places without fear of judgment, that would be a sad way to live. And that's not a way that I would ever live my life. I would never live my life in a way where I have to feel that I'm offending another woman because I choose to celebrate myself in a way, because I choose to dress a certain way or sing a song that you may not sing or go somewhere that you may not go. That's truly a, a journey that you need to be on for healing. And in helping us become one, to unify as sisters, that is one of the things that we need to stop doing is judging. Because that's why a lot of women are not able to be friends because there's this internal jealousy. And I don't think it's intentional. I think it's because of what they've gone through. That they're not able to be happy for someone else. Uh, another woman when she's doing things, when she's accomplishing things, 
when she's beautiful. We fear that because we think in some way that hinders us from being able to be seen. And that's a very, very, very dark and sad place to be. So, yeah, I thought I'd share that because in, journey, in this journey of healing, we need to face those things that we don't like about ourselves. Those things that we have to be totally honest about that keeps us stuck when we're irritated because someone is doing something just to celebrate themselves. There's nothing wrong with it. If it's not hurting anyone, if it's not disgracing anyone, and some people may even debate that and say, hey, that's them. But I still feel that in anything you do, it should be something that that won't shame you. I don't think anything I do ever shames me or shame my children or my grandchildren because I teach them to be ladies and I teach them to be respectful. And I think that's what's important. So yeah, check yourself. Make sure that those things that you're placing judgment on is not coming from a place on the inside of you where you need healing, where you need to be able to, to work on yourself. So make sure you guys tune in this week. You're gonna be catching some videos. I know I have one going up. Well, you should, probably should have seen the one that went up on Sunday. You may be viewing this today, which is Monday, I think, or Tuesday. But you should see several videos this week going on into the weekend because we're going to just roll them out, guys. We're going to have these uh, videos rolling out this week and throughout the end of the month so that when we enter 2024, we'll be at another level of, of our growth and releasing toxicity, releasing those things from our past that may be hindering us from totally embracing life, living it uh, to the best of our ability, sharing love and unity. That's what it's about. Sharing positivity, helping others to come up to be able to fully embrace life in these dark times. We need community to be able to do that. So thank you all for watching. If you are new, go ahead and subscribe. If you've been viewing me or if this is your first time, click that button for me right now. Let me know you're here. Drop a comment. Share the video. And I thank you so much for being here. And for those sisters who rock with me, no matter what I do, <laughs> thank you all for returning. And I'll see you in the next video. Remember always, I love you much. Peace. Have a great day.